In this tutorial we'll finish the teapot model. In the previous tutorial we created the teapot's basic form and its power. In this tutorial we will create the handle and the lid. Begin with the handle. Draw its profile with a B-spline. Use Rhino's B-spline command to place the control points. Rhino Parametrics interprets Rhino's B-spline and creates a parametric B-spline. Done. To build up the handle, we'll create a tube using this B-spline. Right-click to open the menu, select Tube. Select the B-spline as the centerline path and then specify the radii. A preview updates in the Rhino views, which helps the modeling process. We can easily change the radii to obtain the desired shape. The handle is done. Now create the lid. Before creating the lid, let us hide the revolution object for better visibility. We'll start by cutting a part of the profile. Use the trim command, select merge, and then two cutting points. The trim object is now created. Let's create the offset curve. Select the offset curve tool, then trim, and finally specify the offset. Let us now create the endpoints of this object dynamically. It's done. Next, to finish the profile of the lid, we'll use the polyline and the B-spline. Let's use the endpoints of the offset curve as the anchor points of the polyline and of the B-spline. When creating the B-spline, we can position the control points temporarily and then reposition them later The B spline is finished. We can now refine the shape by moving the control points. The profile is now done. In order to create the volume, let us revolve the profile around an axis. A single parametric curve object is sufficient for this. Let us create it by merging the three portions we have created so far. Select Merge and then the three curves. Now select the Rhino Revolution command and the Merge object as the reference curve to be revolved. This will create the lid. Done. All the basic components have been created, so the teapot is almost done. To improve the looks of the teapot, let's work further on a few of these components. Begin by modifying the offset curve. Select the offset curve, edit its parameters, and reduce the offset.
Continue the modifications by moving some of the control points used to model the teapot's base. Select the desired points of the various B splines and drag and drop them as needed. Widen the teapot's base and then move some of the points again. Let us see the result now. The revolution has been updated and the lid too. But the handle has not been updated. This is because none of its references have been updated. To move the handle, select all the control points of the defining B spline and drag and drop them to a new location. This will modify the B-spline and will modify the tube as well. Now touch up the handle shape by working with the individual control points. Do the same for the spout. Select all the control points of the defining B spline and drag and drop the spout to its new location. Now modify its shape by working with the individual control points. Once more, let us do the same with the lid. Here, we will only need to work with two control points. The looks of our teapot are definitely improving. Back to the spout, edit the tube's parameters, for example, the starting radius. Almost finished. Still two or three points to move a bit and improve the general look to the finished product. And then we will be finally done. Done.